How's it going guys, it's Brevoice here and in this video we'll be showing you how to separate sections and add headers to those sections. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Sean Farrell for suggesting this video. Right, at the end of the video, your app will look like this. You will have header for each section and when you scroll, the headers are gonna stick on top of the UI table view. Before we start, I'd like to mention that this video is actually a sequel to the basic uh, table view tutorial. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm just gonna add the link under the description below. And if you have, you're good to go. Let's start. I'm just gonna open the previous project that we have done before, table view practice. We're gonna start right where we left off. You're gonna go to view controller here and first, we would like to separate the data into three sections. All right. And I'm gonna create two dimensional array, separating the sections as well as the words data. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Alright, and next we want to go to assets and rename the background to, sep to, be, to be separated by the section as well. Uh, actually this one is 0 and 1. as well as the icon and we've done with the asset preparation next I would like to go to edit some function in view controller I'm gonna start with number of rows in section I'm gonna create new variable call rows an integer I'm gonna switch case for the section and section 1 rows are gonna be 2 and then break I'm gonna copy this case and paste it 2 times for case for the section 2 and section 3 number of rows are gonna be 4 and 3 and then break and at the end, we're going to return back the rows. Next, we're going to create new function, which is number of section, which is of course three section. And next, we're going to need new function, which is called title for header in section. We're going to do the same. We're going to create header label, which is string. And I'm gonna switch case the section for section one, yeah. Header label are gonna be say for example header one. Okay, and then break. For case two and case three, section two, section three, header two, header three break and of course return back the header label and next I'm gonna edit the function called cell for row at here yeah the error got here is that the house data now is the two-dimensional array so we're gonna change that to index path dot section that's it and also as the words data I'm just gonna copy the first dimension here, paste it right here. And of course, the name of the image as well. So the first parameter is actually index path dot section underscore index path item, as well as in the this select row at when we push to another view controller. So I'm just going to paste this here and uh, change the name of the background so we need index path dot 
section underscore I guess that's it okay we're gonna try to run it that's it as you can see here we have header for the section 1 and section 2 and section 3 and everything works the same just have to separate by sections and that's it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video and if you have any suggestion or any question you can just leave them down in the comment below and be sure to subscribe because in the next video we'll be showing you how to add multiple prototype cells in the same table view everybody let's high five and see you guys in the next one